What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back, guys. What's good? Um, today is just another vid. Um, on uh, it's like a market recap. What happened this weekend? Who went up? Who went down? Player of the month cards came out. What happened with that? As per usual, drop whatever you want in the comments. Like, um, uh, like the vid. So if you were new, a uh, hundred likes on the vid. Uh, and somebody will win 10k in the comments. Just make sure you comment to win it. Video has to hit 100 likes. And guys, um, I just want to tell you guys this now. Um, as <clears throat> we're getting closer and closer to Madden 20, and honestly, I really want to play Madden 20. I will be posting Madden 20 on this channel. Um, I ha I want to so bad. When Madden 20 comes out, expect two videos from me a day. Um, it comes out, I think, the 26th. So on the 26th, I'm going to move away from MLB um, because, in my opinion, I mean, like, I like the game and all, but I feel like a new, fresh game would be better for me. And I feel like I'm a lot better at Madden, and I'm very good at, like, explaining the market in Madden and sniping in Madden. So I feel like I would have more videos to post. And I feel like it would be more interesting for my channel. I know everything about football, baseball, and basketball. But guys, if you still have auction questions on MLB, you could ask me as well when I post Madden because I know all the answers to the auction. So just remember that. Um, anyways, guys, if you are watching me for MLB and um, you don't want to see Madden, just let me know in the comments. But I will definitely be posting Madden whether you like it or not. I'm sorry. But yes, guys, let's get into the video. Uh, a market overview vid. And honestly, nothing really happened. Nothing really caught my eye. Now I'm just confused at this point. Literally, the only thing I'm seeing was a market increase of about 2K on each diamond. And honestly, I'm kind of upset about it. Um, it's looking like the market will stay here for a very long time until the next market crash happens, which means that the next market crash it's probably going to be, man, I, I don't know anymore. I, like, really, I, I don't know. Like, right now, I don't see the market going up. Maybe, like, another 5K each maximum. But this is what's going to happen. So, since they keep dropping really high overall cards, this is what happens in every single video game when they drop high overall cards. So, what happens is new high overall, high overall cards come out. This is how the market crashes. I just want to explain it to you guys. Um, let's say they drop, they're going to drop headliner packs probably this week, haven't dropped them in a week or two. Um, they're going to drop headliner packs, let's say they drop a 99 overall, 299 overalls, right? What happens is, let's say they drop a 99 Ortiz and a 99 Albert Pujols, we would love to see that, is it going to happen? Probably not. But let's say they drop 299s like that, big cards like Ortiz and Pujols, you will see the market absolutely crash. Um, you will see everybody in the world on the MLB game. We'll post their cards and you will see an undercut and you will see an undercut again and it will just keep undercutting that is what i mean by market crash and that is literally why this game is going to keep crashing the only time this game does not crash is when there's stub sale that's it if there any other packs drop automatically um automatically um it just doesn't happen i'm doing something please stop no, don't come in. I'm making a video. I want to see the cut. In 10 minutes. So, yes. Uh, oh, my God, yo. <laughs> so, what I'm saying is that I'm, I'm, do I'm in a video. So, what I'm saying is that when the market crashes, um, people will go down a lot just because people want to get the new cards. So, what I'm saying is with this market overview is that everybody is so cheap right now if you have the stubs you could buy your team realistically i usually wait till they drop packs because then the market crashes even more and then you can make a, a little bit of stubs after so for instance right now literally if you bought all these players i would say when the player of the month came out you would probably make a pretty decent amount of stubs um as per usual, like these cards did rise a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Probably two, some raised five, some raised 10k, but not a lot. Not as if you guys remember from my videos on the headliner packs in the past, you guys used to remember the aftermath of the market crash. I used to make 50k plus stubs on every market crash. Now it's like not the same. Now the game is just like permanently crashed. Um, I'm gonna give you a, a perfect example. So, this is I'm just gonna explain this. So 
this is kind of hating on the game but in a way it's not so 2k usually nba 2k usually lasts a whole while towards the end of the year i would say like april you'll see the market crash a lot in 2k like straight up crash this is what i'm scared of in this game this is what i proven that this game is going to die early um what i'm saying is it's gonna die early because when you release content like when they release those 13 signature series cards in one day what happens when you drop 99 overall cards like that it causes a crazy 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 amount of like like everybody freaks out and everybody rushes to the market to sell their cards what happens when that like when that happens bro the market is crazy um it's impossible to make stubs only off price gaps because of the crazy amount of people putting up cards um it when when the market crashes that much it's almost impossible for the game to go back up so when they had the rush of packs and they dropped the stub sale in my opinion at the worst time they should have dropped it this week towards the end of this week to they dropped the stub sale at the wrong time because they dropped the stub sale and then they dropped packs directly after it causing one of the biggest market crashes ever which is a big problem in my opinion um the market's not gonna rise until the stub sale comes um and it's a fact because but there's not they're not gonna drop a stub sale for about three weeks now so guys i, I don't know what to say if you want to get a team now and you have stubs if you want to sell your team you could go ahead and do it no way the market goes up unless they drop a stub sale like i said so I'm just going to go over a bunch of players, and I'm going to tell you what to buy and what not to buy. Listen, actually, this Rue right here, bro, Ryu, actually went up about 6K. He was 18K on Friday. I did not post yesterday. So, yeah. Uh, Chris Sale went up a little bit, 4K. Okuna went up. No, Okuna's kind of cheap. I don't know. I don't think he went up. Really? All these home run derby cards, are they even out yet? Are they still? Are they gone? Are they still there? Kind of curious. Okay, they're all gone. So honestly, um, if you want to pick up some, you can. Will they go up? I'm not promising anything, man. You never know in this game. You never know when they're going to drop headliner packs. For all we know, they could drop headliner packs on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. We don't know. This is why I'm scared. I'm about to just cash out, sell my whole team, and just pray to the Lord that the market keeps crashing. And honestly, I'm selling every single card every car on my team is getting sold that i could sell because honestly i i don't know what to do uh, the game just simply keeps crashing and it's just scary um this is honestly the last time i'm gonna say um just go sell your cards play it smart just play smart man sell your cards now while you have the chance you never know when they're gonna drop packs again take your stubs take it in just hold it make sure you have stubs bro you never know when the market crash is happening, bro. I literally have been sitting on this game for weeks. And every single day after work, I see a random day. On a random day, they'll drop packs and screw my day. So, like, literally, just sell your team. Like I'm doing right now in this vid. Sell your team. Don't do the 5th inning collection. You will lose stubs. Do not do the 5th inning collection unless you want to grind it all night. I do not have the time to do that. Um, it is time to just get as many cards sold it is time market crash is going to happen this week again no stub sales coming absolutely nothing is coming put your cards in the auction get rid of everything you got bro you never know anymore i am selling my whole team next huge market crash bugs is prepared this is the last time you will ever see these cards this cheap um i'm just saying just sell your cards make the stubs it's time this is the time you want to sell your team buy just go for sell nows like as ma uh, many sell nows the only car we'll be keeping is pete alonzo because i'm obsessed with the dude um i i'm obsessed with pete alonzo my favorite baseball player right now by far um sell your cards man jimmy fox at 26k he actually rose about 6k maybe no he rose 8k so literally if you guys have been playing this weekend i have not i've been super busy man i've been going car shopping i've been doing so much bro youtube work car shopping gym i have no time for this game bro literally um i have no time to grind it's so annoying i just need a week off but i can't get a week off we're on the grind so yeah just make sure you sell your team man 
I'm going to just keep saying it. Make those stubs. Just keep watching it and keep tuning in. Uh, Market Talk Tuesday. Keep tuning in. Your boy Bugs will keep telling you ways how to make stubs. It's not hard. Um, Market Talk Tuesday tomorrow is going to be pretty interesting. I'm probably just going to tell you guys to sell your team again. And just repeat, repeat. Sell your team. Getting ready for Friday. All that good stuff. Guys, I hope you've been enjoying my Market Talk Tuesday series. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Market overview is over. Stay tuned for the next vid. Stay tuned for Madden 20. Might post 2K2. I'm looking forward to Madden 20, though. Hope you guys had a good one. Peace.